Hello guys, Flint here from Backyard Blasters. Today I thought I'd bring you a video on a bit of a novelty toy gun here. This is like a classic rubber band gun rifle. So this is a semi-automatic rubber band gun and it is in the form of a rifle. Just gonna do a basic review of it today, go over how it works. So it is modeled after some sort of, I think you call that a Winchester, when it's got the, the thing here that you would pull down to load in another round. Live action rifle. It's all made out of wood except for the firing components here which are plastic and the trigger guard and the lever. This lever doesn't actually move, it's fixed in place. So at the front here, you've got your muzzle, um, then this little notch here, this is where you put your rubber band on at the front. And you've got your barrel here, um, the, the rest of the gun basically. Wheel here which is where you load the shots onto, so you can load up to eight shots at once, eight rubber bands. Your trigger, the trigger guard and lever, and then the stock. Now it is quite small, um, it's not one-to-one -one scale. A one-to-one -one size one would be pretty damn cool, but um, it's certainly big enough for most kids. On the back here, I've just put my rubber bands on there because it's a good spot to put the um, rubber bands to store your ammo. Because it is a rifle, you're going to be using larger than normal rubber bands. So if you're buying ammo for this, you need to make sure you get the bigger size rubber bands because it is quite a long uh, barrel. It's a big enough rifle so that the rubber band stretch stretches quite a fair way. Now I've also got a little strap here which is like just a, a carry strap really for the gun and that can like rotate on those points there. It's just screwed in. It's very well made and um, pretty much indestructible to break. I'm not sure how a kid would, would break it or how anyone would break it for that matter. Great if you're setting up you know some little matchboxes and using them as targets and then shooting them down. I remember doing that when I was a lot younger and that was a lot of fun. Rubber band guns are even though some people think they're old and they have been around for ages that is because they're a lot of fun, you know, that's why they've been around for such a long time. Now rubber band guns like this one, they usually shoot a max distance of about 7 to 10 meters. So rubber band guns, they're not like Nerf guns, they won't keep going, they just reach a point where they just stop and they drop. It's quite interesting watching them fire because they don't, yeah, they don't shoot, they, they suddenly just stop midair and just kind of drop. I'll show you how this bad boy fires, so you just, you can load up to 8, I've only got 3 with me three rubber bands, but you pull it back, place it onto the lever here on the first notch, and then you simply cock it back. Then you load the second one. Watch here, I hope these rubber bands are not gonna break on me. They've had a lot of use, They're starting to get a bit frail. Oh yes, the last one. So this is semi-automatic as you're about to see, because all you gotta do is pull that trigger. So here we go. Oh, okay, it just shot two at once. But sometimes that can happen. It might malfunction if you hold the trigger down too long. So basically you pull the trick, there's basically there's force on this by the rubber band. You pull the trigger once and it cycles. And again, again, again. Anyway guys, that's my quick review of this semi-automatic rubber band gun rifle. If you haven't been to our website, Backyard Blasters, that's where we store a lot of our toy guns which are for sale, shipping out of Australia. If you're interested in buying any of our products, have a look on the website and use this code here to get 10% off your order. Anyway guys, that's all for today's video. We'll see you in the next one.